Welcome to Cabarete, Dominican Republic, known for its water sports, beaches, and nightlife. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Cabarete. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Cabarete, Dominican Republic. Population around 15,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Cabarete. Cabarete is 50 minutes from Porto Plata. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Cabarete. People love Cabarete because of the kite surfing at Kite Beach. Cabarete is known around the world as a kiteboarding destination. The center of the action is on Kite Beach, just around a headland from Cabaret's main beach. It's about a 20 minute walk along the beach from the center of town to Kite Beach. This small area of Cabarete has its own unique vibe. In the mornings, the beach is quiet with the exception of walkers and runners or people swimming and stand up paddle boarding. In the afternoon, when the wind kicks up, kite boarders descend on the beach and the skies fill with kites. The sand is a ride of colors with kites waiting for the best winds to materialize. A few restaurants along here offer casual food, many with a particular focus on vegetarian food and other healthy offerings. On Friday afternoons, a free circus offers entertainment at the end of the beach. Even if you're not a kiter, it's worth coming to see the spectacle. Cabarete hosts the annual Masters of the Ocean competition in February, where the best in the world come to compete in kite surfing, windsurfing, surfing, and stand up paddle boarding. This is a great time to see some incredible kiting on Kite Beach. If you're interested in taking up the sport yourself, numerous schools offer lessons and hotels cater to kiters. People love Cabarete because of the surfing in Playa Encuentro. The northern shores of the Dominican Republic are home to some of the most popular surfing communities in the country. Playa Encuentro, less than five miles from Cabarete downtown, is one of the best beaches in the Dominican Republic for surfing, especially if you're a beginner. Surfing lessons average about $50 for a two to three hour lesson. Prices depend on the business and lesson package. You are free to rent surfboards without lessons if you wish. I once stayed at the El Centro Surf Lodge, which is a few minutes walk to El Centro Beach, where I took a morning surf lesson for beginners. My lesson was with Pau Hanna Surf Camp, and I couldn't believe they actually got me to stand and surf on baby waves, not once or twice, but three times. Another Dominican-owned surf school in Playa and Centro is Ocean Academy DR. And lastly, the Dominican Surf School allows you to book your experience online on Airbnb. Just shoot them a lesson through Airbnb to set it up. People love Cabarete because of Rugema for paddle boarding, riverboat tours, and seafood. Rugema is an eco village located along the Rio Rasica, just before the river pours out into the ocean. The space offers a treehouse style restaurant, some pools, bungalows, and a tiny zoo area. Here you can rent paddle boards or go on a short guided boat tour around the region. The tours may include transportation and a delicious seafood platter. Book ahead of time to ensure that there's availability for whatever type of tour you're interested in. Rugema is just located a stone's throw away from Wilson's, but offers more to do and is easier to get to by road. However, Wilson's offers a particularly unique taste in the food and is a more humble, local experience. I suggest trying both. They are both unique experiences and Dominican owned. People love Cabarete because of the 27 Falls of Demahagua. If you're looking for adventure, one of the most interesting things to do in the Dominican Republic is to climb up a narrow gorge of waterfalls and then jump off the top of each one into the pools below. This attraction is not for the faint of heart. It's a serious undertaking, but incredibly fun. You'll be outfitted with a life jacket and a helmet and led by qualified guides who will take you up a series of ladders. As you ascend, you'll be able to watch other visitors fly past you on their descent. It's non-stop action and mayhem. Some of the drops are quite high, but you can always change your mind in any given situation and take the ladder down. The falls are near Porta Plata, and most people go on an organized tour 27 waterfalls of Demahagua from Cabaret or Porta Plata. If you have your own transport, you can also do this on your own, but guides are mandatory and can be arranged at the falls. You need to be able to swim and not be afraid of heights. People love Cabarete because of the horseback riding tours. 
If you're visiting Kaaba that day, you can take a tour by horseback or even sign up for some lessons. There are a few cool places to try this out. The first is at the luxurious Seahorse Ranch's Equestrian Center. Here you can take professional lessons and or go on a tour through the beach and woods. The property is stunning and offers gorgeous villas for rent. This could be a perfect package for a group or family trip. Another cool, more affordable and local option is Lorancho, Luisa and Tommy. Here you can do horseback riding tours through the mountains and rivers with a local family. Full day or afternoon rides are offered. People love Cabarete because of El Chaco National Park. Just a 15 minute walk from the center of town, you can visit El Chaco National Park. Of all the cool things there are to do in this park, the most popular and easy thing is visiting one of the many privately managed caves with opportunities for swimming. There's also a lagoon, trails for hiking, biking, horseback riding, and bird and lizard watching. There's also an option for guided tours of local plants, trees, and fruits. When you reach the park entrance, you'll be greeted by guides whom you can hire to take you around. Be sure to wear sturdy shoes for the walk down to the caves. People of Cabarete because of the tubing at La Boca de Yasica. Tubing is a very fun way to relax and cool down on your float down the Rio Rasica between the green rolling hills. Dominican local Frank organizes a two hour tubing tour with different stops along the river. The cost is $55 for adults and $40 for children under 13. This includes transportation to and from downtown Gabarete, the tubes, a floating fridge of water, juice, beer and rum, and a typical Dominican lunch at the end with fresh coconuts. People of Cabarete because of the local beaches. Cabarete is a laid-back beach town. It's known for its relaxed atmosphere and huge crescent-shaped beach lined with casual restaurants where visitors can dine right on the sand. Unlike the Dominican Republic's resort destinations like Punta Cana and Puerto Plata, this town is not full of all-inclusive resorts and packaged vacation tours. Instead, Cabarete attracts free spirits, backpackers, retirees, and kiteboarders and surfers who come here to spend a few weeks or months, particularly in the winter. If you're staying in nearby Puerto Plata, you can take a day trip to Cabarete to spend a day on the beach, enjoy a meal, or do some shopping. In the early evenings, especially on the weekends and Tuesdays, musicians often perform in the local beachfront restaurants and provide entertainment as the sun sets. To the east and west of town are long stretches of beautiful beaches lined with palm trees. This natural setting is perfect for peaceful walks. People of Cabarete because of the half-day trip to Playa Carlton and Playa Grande. Playa Carlton. If you're looking for a calmer beach to visit on the northern coast, check out Playa Carlton just an hour east of Cabarete town. Playa Carlton boasts calm emerald green waters and an interesting decor of sculptured heads at the very end of the beach. Here you can also sit down and order seafood with an array of side dishes. This is well worth the trip for the food and the beach. Playa Grande, just 10 minute driving from Playa Carlton is Playa Grande. Here you can grab some delicious food, shop for artisan goods, and swim on a larger beach. Many prefer Playa Grande because of the food. Go to Luis's stand and order the lobster at $12 a pound. People of Cabarete because of the proximity to Cayo Arena. Cayo Arena is one of the favorite beaches in Puerto Plata. To visit this special island, you can book your tour leaving from Puerto Plata or go on your own. First, dive on over to beautiful Playa Punta Recia to take the boats. Afterward, head to nearby Playa Ensenada for lunch. Make sure your boat driver provides snorkeling equipment. Kaya Arena, aka Paradise Island, is an absolute gorgeous experience for beach, swimming, and sunshine. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Cabarete. If you've got a reason why you love Cabarete, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!